Hi, I'm Ella Kirshner, and for our capstone project, Kira Chua and I made a gravity-powered car. We are wondering, is it possible to make a car entirely powered by gravity? Could this be a realistic, climate-friendly option in the future? We wanted to research this topic and construct a model that could be both fun and useful. Our first model proved that yes, it is possible. It can move simply by the power of a weight. However, it's quite weak. It cannot realistically serve any purpose. So we scaled it up. Our goal of this project was to make a car that could transport something, even if it's just a book, across a hallway without any assistance. Our model is not going to solve any problems that couldn't be fixed otherwise, but it met our goal. Possibly a larger model could serve a more practical purpose, but we didn't have the time or funding to construct that. We know this will never be a substitute for a gas or electric car, but it could be useful in transporting items without any negative environmental impact, low cost, and high efficiency. How does it work? Our model is based around a large wooden body that has wooden pillars sticking up and a dowel connecting them. A string runs along the top of the wooden dowel with a weight on one side. The other side is connected to the wheels. The entire structure runs from the front wheels, and the back ones just spin along with the rest of the car. You now have an idea of how it looks, but you may be wondering how it actually works. The string is wrapped around the wheel axle, so the we when the weight falls, it pulls the string, which unravels and turns the wheel axle. The string continues to pull the front wheels forward until the weight has reached the base of the car. After the string has run out of, and the weight has fallen to all the way, the string comes loose and the car runs on the momentum it has built up. The only issue we came across in the construction of this project is that the weight needs to be a very specific weight in order to have the strength to pull the axle while still being supported by the string. What are the advantages of this car as opposed to other options? This car may not be suitable for real-world purposes, but it has some positive characteristics. For example, it has little to no environmental impact. The average gas car produces 2.3 kilograms of CO2 per liter of gas. Although our gravity-powered car could never replace the gas car, this is an issue that needs to be addressed, and it was interesting to explore different options and alternatives. Our car is also fairly low cost to construct and maintain. After the initial structure is built, there should be no other costs as it doesn't need any materials to use as fuel. The only exception may be repairs, but this would not be necessary very often. The other advantage is that you don't need anyone to drive it. Once it's let go, it moves in a straight line without any assistance. Throughout the building process, we had to make a few adjustments to our model. When we first built it, it didn't work as well as we'd hoped for. Because of the friction between the metal rod and the wood, the wheels wouldn't turn smoothly, making it difficult for the car to move. The string would also not slide over the dowel as we'd hoped it would. We fixed these problems by adding a pulley to the top and plastic tubes around the rods to reduce their friction. This significantly improved our project and helped it run smoothly. We also added more ways to the string so it can pull down faster and more easily. In conclusion, our project had a few issues throughout the process, but in the end we created a product that met our goal. Although it's not very practical, it was an interesting project and I think we learned a lot. And finally, as I mentioned before, we proved that yes, it is possible to create a car powered entirely by gravity.